video, and I know I've done this a lot lately. I'll probably explain it in an update video soon. But today we're doing some off-roading with a few cars. You can see here I've got around five cars lined up for us to do some off-roading on this map. It's called GM underscore Redneck if you want to go check it out on the Steam, on the, uh, Steam Workshop. And uh, I picked this up for our new shore, shore, show on the American Race Game Network, uh, Grand Tour Gmod. Um, we're going to do an off-roading episode hopefully eventually. Um, this has been pretty sick. But joining me in commentary, you probably remember him from like 2013, 2014 when he actually uploaded. Uh, DingoBot25 is here next to me. Just call me Marshall. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, my cousin Marshall's here, and uh, he's going to be joining me in commentary for this video. He's actually playing GTA on my Xbox right now. Um, but yeah. Nope, too late. Nope, nope. Um, nope, 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 nope. Shut your mouth. Nope. Alright. <laughs> so we're starting with the Mini, and this is a Mini Cooper. Uh, Mark 1. So it's it's the Mark 1 Mini, like I said just a second ago. But it's based with a 4x4 drivetrain, body uh, lifted, big off-road tires. So we're just going to go across to a certain point, uh, and then I'm just going to cut the video and go. Alright, so it's already stuck. Alright, this is interesting. It managed to spin itself around and stuff. I bet all my kids, my friends from school, are like, oh man, he's actually doing something with a mud trail. Because it's a long running joke outside of school that I refuse to do things usually with stuff like this. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. I'm like, lost. <laughs> Alright, come on. There we go. There's rock crawling too. It's not going bad now. It's got stuck on that first rock, but. Oh, I almost did it again. Oh, I right, see. Oh, that went well. Alright, so I think it's go this way. Yes, yeah, this way. That's a tree. I would make a joke, but I probably if I knew the bunny in America I'd make that joke. Water splash. Now ironically enough, I picked these four cars because they're the most off-roady friendly out of all the ones I've driven already. And uh, this one, ironically enough, the F-150 Raptor which is on my mod pack on this server. I'm actually playing on my server right now. Um, it actually got stuck in the water splash we just went through a few seconds ago. Um, so I was, that actually got me quite upset. I was like, how do you get stuck on the water splash? But the F-150 actually just sat way too low. And I have a 3500 Cummins sitting back at the start point that I used uh, yesterday, and it never got stuck once. The GMC Sierra Monster never got stuck once. And if you're wondering what mods I'm using, uh, I'm using every single last one of the TDM Cars mod pack. So, um, and it's, uh, it, it'll take a while to download, but you can get practically every single brand in there. And the Mini is actually getting stuck. This is what I call Death Hill. I don't think that's actually its name, but that's what I call it. Because e almost every single car I've driven up in has gotten stuck on it. You have to take it, like, right the perfect angle in order to not get stuck on it. And it's, like, right at the end of the trail, so... All right, let's go one more time. And I kind of cheat. There we go. Ah, oh, no, we got stuck on the rock up here. Oh, oh, maybe not. Nope, yep, we're stuck on the rock. Oh, there we go. Come on. Almost. There it goes. And we're up. <laughs> but yeah, we're going down to the, here to the last leg of the little trail here. And the mini has made it, so... The Mini is actually not very bad at off-roading, so we're going to jump over now. We've got the Ram 3500 Cummins Heavy Duty Dually 4x4. And everyone knows, anyone who knows me well knows I have a soft spot for the Cummins. If I were to buy any sort of diesel truck, it'd be a Cummins or a Power Stroke. Not a very big fan of Duramaxes, to be honest. But, um... Hey, my phone just went off. I think that's my phone, at least. Um, <laughs> is it... But, alright, alright. So the Cummins is actually, the Cummins is by far one of my favorite off-roaders in this game. Because even though it sits the lowest out of all the 4x4 trucks, it definitely does not perform the worst. Like, it is probably one of the better of the trucks. Alright, so here's the water splash where the, ramp, where the F-150 got stuck. Full throttle through, the Cummins did not even stall once. So, the Cummins is pretty tough. That's a tree, though. Disadvantage of a full size and why I never got one very hard to drive because they're so big. That Cummins got really up there in the revs too. Right. So one reason why I like the Cummins more than the Power Stroke really is because it's an inline six instead of a V8. I like the Power Stroke and Duramax. And plus it sounds like a freaking school bus in the mornings, which is always cool. I've always liked the sound of idling and school buses and stuff. I like I don't I hate the sound of the gas, but you know I like the I like the sound. Alright, 
So here we go. Death Hill in the Commons. First try, not even any trouble. Almost got stuck down here, though. Going downhill. All right. And the Cummins makes it. So the Cummins is by far much better than the Mini, because it got stuck like three or four times. I'm just going to back this on down. All right, and we're going to head over to the next view. Nice little interior view. I hope there's not too many, too much issues with the encoding right now, because I'm trying to... I know it's been kind of a big problem my Gmod videos as of late, is in the blockiness in the videos. But once I get my new PC in February-ish, uh, it'll be a lot better. Um, I'm actually really excited about that. I don't think I've really driven a Land Rover very much on these things, though. It's already getting stuck a little bit, though. Yeah, it's struggling. Land Rover's on the struggle bus. This is an off-road built car, and it's on the struggle bus. Land Rover is basically just for off-roading. It's like Britain's Jeep. Like the like the Range Rover is the Grand Cherokee of Britain. The Defender is the Wrangler of Britain. And to the water splash, this Defender should not get stuck. Which, gladly it didn't. Because it sits rather high, as you can see. This is an actual off-road car. And there was a couple other maps I was considering. But um, the ones that I saw, they were two. They were the one that I saw on YouTube. I watched a video and like the best off-roading maps for Gary's mod, and um, they were all kind of tough and like for faster stuff. And I wanted to use like the base TDM cars, and this one stood out to me pretty well, which is why I eventually got into it. Um, I'm probably gonna give everyone the link that's uh, for the cast of the show, and uh, yeah, yeah, we're just crawling away. The Land Rover's doing an exceptional job. This is actually oh well. No, I can't see because the screen got blocked for a minute. But, alright. So now we're going up Death Hill in the Land Rover. Alright, can it go up on its first try? Yes, it can. And it will. Alright, excuse me for a second. My nose was itching. Fun. Anyway, we're going downhill now. And the Land Rover has made it. So, the Ram 3500 and the Land Rover are currently the best two. The Ram still holds it because it didn't get stuck at all. I've driven it before. It still got stuck. It's time for our Duramax rep representative to get going. I didn't bring the power stroke, so. Oh, that's a tree, so. The car. Nah, it's a, it's a potato. Alright, the Duramax is already stuck. This is why, I'm just kidding, I'm not going to go there. I've already made that joke a million times. But, uh, yeah. And there we go, now it's climbing. Still doesn't sign as seriously coming. I'm right, gonna turn onto the main trail here. Nose is itching again. Uh, with some rocks. And here comes the water splash. Now I have not driven the Hummer on this map yet, so I don't know whether it's gonna get stuck or not. Yes, it did. So the Hummer sits literally barely too low. Like I don't understand that really. How is in the world is the water getting in there? Well, then again, there's a bit of a gap there in the uh, frame, so that's probably what's going on. So, quickly going to tow this out with my physics gun. Because I've actually tried, like, making it more realistic and using a car to tow it out, but it doesn't work. Alright. Well, we're back now on the trail. Let's see how this goes now. We'll go finish this up strong. Alright, so we're on this kind of open dirt stretch. This is kind of where you can get the speed up a little bit right before you start hitting rocks again. And it gives you kind of a bit of a boost to get over these boulders. Now this is definitely a good trail for people who do like Gary's Mod mud bogs and stuff like that if you're into that. Even though it's not realistic mud, you know, it's not going to get splashed up on your vehicle. Uh, but it's definitely a good off-road proving ground, for sure. And uh, like I said, this map will be featured in a episode of the Grand Tour G Mod on the American Racing Game Network if you guys want to tune in for that. Anyway, here we go, Death Hill in the Hummer, and it can't make it, it looks like. It's getting stuck. Right gonna do my usual pullback trick that I like to call. Alright, the Hummer still can't oh it, it oh it barely made it. Had like an inch or two before it got stuck again. Alright, so the Duramax definitely did not perform as good as the Cummins did. And I'm not doing that because I was showing bias at all. I'm guessing it's just because of the Cummins was angler, custom lift, you know, bull bar, roof rack, anything any everything and every anything and everything. Uh, so it looks pretty good. But right, here we go. Alright. 
so here we go. Alright, so now we are cruising down the trail in the Jeep. Um, and the Jeep's okay with rock crawling. It's Death Hill. Death Hill, the reason I call it Death Hill is because it's very rare that cars get up it easily. Like, for example, as you saw with the, um, with the Mini, it took about three or four tries. The Jeep, I don't think I ever got it to go up. But it can easily conquer the water splash. The Hummer actually really struggled on it. As you guys saw, it barely made it as a tree. Um, but yeah. Oop, I wasn't paying attention. It hit another tree. But yeah, the Jeep's the Jeep's really good at rock crawling. That's kind of what a Jeep was made for, was this kind of stuff. As you can see, it just bounces off of it and spins. But I think this is the JK series. I don't think this is a... The YJ or anything like that. I don't remember. I don't know what this is based off. Of. I'm pretty sure it's a JK. I mean, I guess by the interior, it's a JK at least. Great. Now I'm getting, now I'm arguing with myself over what kind of Jeep this is. Great. All right. So here comes Death Hill, and I'm spun out before I can even reach it. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and try to get a boost before Death Hill. Oh, yep. Now I'm, I'm on a rock somewhere. Okay. Now I can see. All right. I'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit more in these first person view. Okay, yeah. As you can see, it gets stuck pretty easily on the hill. It makes it about a quarter of the way up. Alright. So it's running on the Pentastar V6, which is the same engine my mom's van has. But, you know, it's still a great motor. Oh, oh, is it going to make it? No, it won't. Alright. One more try. One more try. Oh... It's still not going to make it, guys. So, the Jeep is the only car this episode that did make it up Death Hill within, you know, a few tries. The Mini made it. The Cummins easily made it. The Duramax struggled. The um, the Land Rover struggled a little bit. It took a couple tries to the Land Rover, if I remember correctly. But, yeah. So, that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was an awesome little thing to do. New map, new content, and uh, all that. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.